So, Marco, why are you here at CareerZoo, and what are uh, version one hoping to achieve? We came here to attract the best possible candidates in Dublin and also in Ireland. Uh, we came to hire uh, and uh, attract and uh, to retain those candidates. Previously, we hired um, a couple of people, and uh, we are hoping to achieve this time as well. Uh, we see um, CareerZoo as a very, very good uh, event, a uh, great event, I would say because the, um, we have a chance to speak directly with the, with the candidates or applicants. We, we have a chance to see immediately, uh, you know, to explain them uh, on the spot what we are looking for. And it's very good, uh, very good to have uh, before they come for a, for a real interview and before they come for our recruitment process. Before I came to version one, I never worked in IT company. So it's a great opportunity for everyone who is planning to go to IT to come to this kind of event and to to talk with us directly with version one. And that's actually was going to be my second question uh, in terms of transitioning from say a non-tech background to a tech brand. I mean, how did you find that and how do you think uh, companies are better at making that transition easier for people? Well, I think uh, that depends on the person's uh, motivation, what they are willing to do if they are moving from one uh, one role which they which is not related to the IT then I would say definitely um, they they are able to do this here in Dublin in Ireland so because I see that there are plenty of candidates who this transitional uh, in their school like meaning they before they were like working in I don't know as in the as a bartender and then they did the IT in .NET C sharp in Java and they move in that direction, they were quite successful in the recruitment process and we hired those kind of people and they are doing pretty well right now. In terms of who version one are looking to hire at the moment, would you say there's kind of a preference almost for say those in Ireland, like looking in the Irish market at the moment? Or would you say that there's now more people, uh, version one are now looking to abroad as well? Or is there a mix of both? I think we were quite lucky in the terms of finding both candidates from Ireland and also from abroad. We are hiring from everywhere. I'm hiring from Argentina, from Mexico, also from Spain, Portugal, uh, Croatia, where I'm coming from, uh, Poland. In Ireland, we are hiring plenty of them as well, so we are quite lucky. We are, we just want a great place to work in Ireland, and uh, people are uh, looking forward to join us. And you can go for workshops everywhere. You are completely in the vibrant uh, 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 place. Yeah, definitely. If somebody is coming from abroad, this is a great place to start your new career. What would you say are the kind of key uh, personal aspects you're looking for in in hiring in version one? Yeah. We all know that we are looking for relevant skills. For example, if they are applying for a Java, they need to have some Java experience there. Um, I'm talking about mid-level and senior roles. Uh, but however, for every candidate, we are looking to uh, for them to reflect our core values, which is honesty, integrity, no ego, personal commitment, drive, excellence, customers first. Uh, so basically, if they have this, and if they believe that we reflect their values as well, we tend to hire these kind of people and uh, we tend to grow together. We are hiring people who can grow together with us, who have this drive, who wants to succeed in their roles. And definitely we are open for everyone uh, from anywhere.